a disabled American veterans service officer. In other words, I help young GIs and veterans uh, navigate the maze that the VA throws up in order to get what they're entitled to, in order to get the evaluations, the service, the, uh, the treatment, and of course the compensation that they're entitled to and to serve your country survivably. And I had first come in contact with our Irish back in uh, the Veterans Disability Benefit Hearings in 2006 in Washington, D.C., where myself and eight of the young uh, Afghanistan and Iraq veterans uh, had testified as well as maybe 30 or 40 other people. And Irish's testimony was so compelling and on such an important uh, thing that most people don't even understand. They, don't, they can't comprehend that nobody goes in front of any congressional hearing, nobody goes in front of any uh, veterans hearing and accomplishes all that much. He had people like born on the 4th of July, Ron Kovic, went in his wheelchair. His testimony was nothing. He needed almost 100 people to uh, say almost the same thing he said before he can get the Veterans Administration or the Department of Defense to move on anything. And what's so important for younger people today, young veterans and uh, young active duty, is to raise up the icon of Agnes Bethlehem, raise up the icon of Irish, and how she was such a tenacious pit bull, how she never gave up, how she would always come back and, and just tell them exactly what it was and exactly what it is and what they needed to do. And, and, and almost whip them into shape in the realization that everything she said was 100% true. Uh, there was a time when the only Agent Orange people who were recognized were people who had quote unquote boots on the ground in Vietnam. And Agnes's testimony helped what they now call Blue Water Navy veterans who handled uh, the ships that moved the oxen, uh, Agent Orange poisoning into Vietnam, as well as Air Force people. And these uh, Blue Water vets and these Air Force people have nobody to thank but Irish. You know? And the next step is to get people from Fort Detrick, from Fort Halliburton, from Fort uh, McClellan, Alabama, from all the places that Irish had been uh, to be accepted and welcome into the fold of those who've been exposed to docs and, and for the treatment and the evaluation and, of course, the compensation that they're all entitled to. She's a very important part uh, of the big picture of veterans advocates. And we love Irish to death because she never quit. She never stopped fighting. So many people were so sad. So many people were burst into tears when they heard Irish died on the 11th. I smiled, man, because Irish always called me at 3.25 a.m., 3.30 a.m. I said, Bill, I'm going to die fighting these sample bitches. I'm going to die fighting them. And Irish died fighting them. He got to love her. Yeah. He got to love her. Yeah. And I love her. Thank you. <laughs>